journey to college football success for both Montel Harris and Jawan Jamison started on the first coast of Jacksonville, Florida, where high school football is played at the highest level. Harris was an All-State running back at Trinity Christian, and Jamison played for perennial state champion Bowles and legendary coach Corky Rogers. Talking about Bowles back in the days, man, winning state championships set a nice foundation for you. But now you're on a team that is on a run here in the Big East. I mean, like you said, Bowles, you know, they set the foundation. Coach Rogers, Coach Howard, Coach Barrett, Coach Walker, all the, all those guys, they did, they did a tremendous job, you know, bringing me up and teaching me, you know, that when you get down, you can't quit. When it gets rough, you can't quit. When times are hard, you can't quit. You know, they just set that foundation. I just think it's the atmosphere down there. Um, Football is real big. Everyone, uh, high school games are packed. Uh, a lot of people come out to support high school, so I just think it's really competitive down there. One of the most productive backs in NCAA football, Montel has many career 100-yard rushing games and gives credit mostly to great conditioning and durability. I'm a great, durable back, able to get a lot of touches, and uh, just my work ethic. I thrive on being a work horse, so um, being able to take enough carries and get those 100-yard games, that's a great accomplishment. 22 of those 100-yard rushing games came during Montel's first three years at Boston College, where he's still their career leader with 3,735. Meanwhile, in Piscataway, Jawan Jamison, the redshirt sophomore, looked to become the first Rutgers back to reach 1,000 since Baltimore Ravens All-Pro Ray Rice did it in 2006. What's the interaction been like with you and Ray Rice? Um, I've seen him in the spring games when he was coming back. He talked to me. He told me, you know, that my name, I got my, I got myself out there. I got my foot in the door. He's like, just take it. Just keep going. Just keep working hard. Just keep doing what you're doing. And run that hard. He said, finish. Finish finish my runs and finish everything that I do and just keep working hard. You know, my mom came up here. She was like, this is the place. I love this place. You know, we used to watch Ray Rice sit at home, watch him. She's like, this is the place. You're just like him. You're built just like him. You run just like him. This is the place. And, you know, I fell in love with it. I came up here for her. You know, I'm doing it for her. That's my mom. I love her. And um, just keeping it going. When Temple hosted Rutgers in a Big East battle back in October at Lincoln Financial Field, both men were the catalysts for their respective offenses and showed mutual respect for each other's performances. It's, it's good to see people from the same area do well, but, uh, not against us, we wanted to get the win. Was he inspiring to watch him out on the field? Oh yeah, yeah, The way he, did, you know, like he ran after contact and the way he, uh, he was hitting the hole, that, you know, that gave me the drive to, I gotta do better. I gotta step my game up, I gotta run harder. I gotta break the tackles, I gotta make the first man miss. You know, seeing him made me push myself. This is the final collegiate season for Harris in Philly and his great resume certainly provides a way for him to continue playing on NFL Sundays. The primary objective is to have a successful college career and move on to the NFL. The script's still being written, man, and you're here, you're winning at Rutgers. What's next? What's next? I mean, hopefully the NFL's next. You know, um, that's my ultimate goal. It's been my dream since I've been a kid, and I told my mom that's my ultimate dream. That's what I want to do, and um, you know, hopefully it happens for me.